What's up you guys, it's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make another balloon garland tutorial. In this one, I'm going to make it really big and fun. Before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and give a shout out to the sponsor for today's video. Shout out to U-Bike Drop for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me their double layered square balloon stand and this is three feet wide and seven feet tall. I'm going to be attaching the balloon garland on this stand today. If you guys would like to save some money at checkout on the U-Bike Drop website, go ahead and use my code LOVERLY10 to save you some money. The direct link to their website will also be in my description box down below. So go ahead and check them out. The stand was really easy to put together. It's numbered, so it's like kind of self-explanatory when you take everything out the package and start connecting all the numbers together pretty easy you guys saw at the beginning of this video how I was um, assembling the whole stand it took me around 15 to 30 minutes in total so definitely convenient anyways let's just get straight into today's tutorial so the balloon garland I want to create today I want to take it like up through the stand and like make it a big nice flow at the bottom I'm going to be using black chrome gold and white sand the chrome gold I'm going to be using is an Amazon brand the link for this will be in my description box down below I really really love this brand their chrome gold is not too yellow just the perfect chrome and I'm going to be using deluxe black from Sempertex and I'm going to be using the white sand from Sempertex as well those are the three colors I'm going to be using. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I create the clusters to make my balloon garland. So first I'm going to be creating the base and for the base I don't really use a lot of jumbo balloons. If I do have 16 inches I also include them in the base but like for my three feet balloons and five inch balloons I don't add those until the end. <laughs> So whenever I'm creating my organic balloon garlands, I don't like when my balloons are the same exact size because that will defeat the whole purpose. So when I inflate the balloons, they look like this, which is a cone shape, but we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is release some air while pushing down on my balloon to create a more round shape. So now this balloon is more round than this one. So I do like the size of this one, but I'm going to try to make this one a little smaller than it. Because we don't want our balloons to be the same exact size. Then I tie them. And for the most part, this is how all my pairs will be looking. One balloon will be larger than the other one. So I have my three pairs right here. I'm going to be using clusters of six for this balloon garland because this frame is not as wide. So I, I don't want to make my clusters too like big. So I have my two pairs right here and all I'm going to be doing is wrapping them around three to four times. One, two, three, four. And now I have my cluster. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my third pair. One, two, three. So here I have my cluster of six. And this is how all of my clusters will be looking to create my balloon garlands. So I'm gonna go off camera now, inflate all of my balloons, then come back and show you guys how I create the balloon garland using all of my clusters. So I have all of my clusters inflated and ready to go right here. I did find some 16 inches, so I added them to some of the clusters and I'm going to be using those at the bottom. But I'm going to show you guys how I create my balloon garland using these clusters. I don't use 260s or fishing line. I just go in and tie each cluster together using the neck. So I call it these the neck. So inside every cluster is where all of the necks of the balloons meet. And I just search for the stretchiest one and just tie it onto another stretchy neck in the other cluster. So I just found one and I'm gonna tie those two together. And it's supposed to look like this when you attach them together. So that is how I create my clusters. It's not always easy 
but if you guys can't handle doing that i will highly suggest using 260 balloons i do have a couple tutorials on my channel showing you guys how to use 260 balloons to create your garlands so i'm starting with the black then the white sand then chrome gold just following the same steps and it looks nice and snug that is why i love using this method this garland right here it's about five seven same height as me and i think i'm going to go ahead and just install this on the frame right now and just use the other clusters to make the bottom wider so in order to install the balloon garland onto the frame, I'm going to be using 260 balloons. So I think I want to put a 260 on this back pole. All I'm doing is tying the 260 onto the pole. And first I, I tied it onto the metal. And then I'm going to be creating a hope. Just making a knot at the tail of the 260s. So this is what I call the hoop. And this is what I'm going to be putting around one of the balloons in the clusters to keep it on. I'm going to go ahead and also attach a 260 right here. Like that. And I have my hoop. I'm just going to go ahead and start with those two attachments first. I'm gonna take my balloon garland and I want it to go through the frame. So first I'm going to make sure that I pull my balloon through this frame without popping it. All right guys, so that is my base and now I kind of have a idea of what direction I would like to move in. So now I'm just gonna go in with the rest of my clusters and like add them until, and just add them to the garland until I get to the, um, the floor and then make the floor wider. And as I said earlier, I'm going to be using some more black balloons up here. So I'm just following the same step I did when making the whole garland, just using the neck and tying it onto another cluster. So I might go ahead and speed up this part of the video. Since you guys already know exactly what I'm doing, I'm just going to be showing you guys all of the places I'm adding the clusters. I installed the balloon garland onto the frame. Now it's time to move on to fillers. So these are what we call fillers. These are made of five inches, same exact way. I the same exact way I made the clusters. I just took two pairs 
of the five inch balloons and just wrap them around three to four times and that is how I ended up with a cluster of four balloons. I used my Legenda machine and I put it at a 1.4 and that is how I got the size. So I attach my fillers using two ways, either with 260s or I use rubber bands. I also can go in and tie them in using the neck, but the 260 and the rubber band method are my favorite. So I have my 260 balloon right here and all I'm doing is attaching a balloon cluster on the end of the 260, just tying it on there, about two knots. So it's attached like that. And on this other end, I do the same thing, attach another cluster. And now I'm left with this. And I have this stretchy balloon right here that I'm going to be using to put around my cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do that. So that is how I attach my fillers using 260 balloons. And now I'm going to show you guys how I use rubber bands to attach fillers. So I have another filler right here and then I have my rubber band. All I'm doing is just taking a rubber band and putting it around my cluster and I have, I'm left with this hoop that I'm going to be putting around one of my balloons in the clusters. Alright you guys, so this is how the backdrop turned out. I went ahead and added this Let's Party neon sign to it to just, you know, give it a little look. The link for this sign will be in my description box down below. Also, if you guys learned anything from this tutorial, I would like to know your feedback in the comment section. Like, did you like it? Do you think the backdrop turned out cute? Did you learn something? If you guys would like to purchase this backdrop frame, I'll be leaving the direct link down in my description box down below. Also, if you guys would like to purchase anything from the U Backdrop website, go ahead and use my code LOVERLY10 to save you some money at checkout. Come back and tell me how your experience went. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And as I said earlier, I want to know all your feedback, so leave them down in the comment section below. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I'll definitely catch y'all in the next one. Bye! I was gonna add mylar to it, but I don't think it's needed for this one. I just wanted to, I've never done a, you know what, it's too much. I don't even see all that. <laughs> I don't even need to see all that. <clears throat> it's just taking the rest of my. Oh, it was a salt shaker. <laughs> it's also like the um, animal balloon. So I have my 260 balloon right here and since this is just for the sake of but since this is just for tongue twisters and bye bye what the fuck is this